It's both symbolic. Very exciting, stimulating. And significant. We should be on the money. <laughs> we spend it. <laughs> that a woman will be on the $10 bill. I think it's awesome. I have a seven-year-old daughter, and it's a wonderful example for her. And already everyone wants to have a say about who should be put on the bill. Sojourner Truth. Um, Harriet Tubman. Susan B. Anthony. If the Women's Rights National Historical Park in Seneca Falls has anything to say about it, they're hopeful a lesser known yet critical figure in women's history is picked. We really focus on Elizabeth Cady Stanton. In the 19th century, women didn't have the right to vote, learn, and in some cases, even to their own children. She wanted rights for women. So in just two weeks, Stanton rallied hundreds of people at the Seneca Falls Convention, sparking the women's rights movement in 1848. She's really pushing all of this, and you can't have any of those rights unless you can really have the right to vote. This was all three years before she met her friend, Susan B. Anthony. They propelled each other. Okay. They were really a yin and yang. Just down the road at the Women's Hall of Fame, it hopes this will lead to an increased education on women's history. Women are uh, seriously underrepresented in our history books. This announcement by the Treasury Department is seen as a step forward by the Hall of Fame. However, we see this as a stepping stone to the woman on the 20s. Many people say there actually needs to be more than one woman put here on the $10 bill. You can't just have one because there's a lot of famous women. You should have like three, maybe four. A clever idea about a portrait, which means so much to young girls and women. Reporting from Seneca Falls, I'm Alex Rosilla.